The media says that you're beginning a new religious movement. What do you say about that? <laughs> well, they're wrong on a number of fronts. Firstly, all myself and you do is we present seminars to people uh, of, of what we believe is truth. But we don't have any religious format. We don't have any control. We don't have any services. We don't have any uh, religious practices. We don't have any formal things that we force upon a group of people. So we're not starting a new religious movement at all. In fact, there is no such thing as a new religious movement called divine truth. Certainly none that I've started anyway. Um, I don't also feel that we're new. Um, the reality is divine truth has been around as long as God's been around. God was the creator of all truth and is the creator of all truth. Bearing that in mind, that means that divine truth has existed before I've ever come into existence and will exist if I ever pass it will be, uh, and ever go out of existence, it will still exist. So the reality actually is that divine truth is not new. However, divine truth is certainly new to the planet 2000 years ago. And uh, before then, divine truth wasn't well known on the planet. Bits of truths were well known, but not all of the divine truth. And divine truth, uh, or a large majority of it, as is now, you know, more and more available to us. So we're not starting a new religious movement because we're not new and we're also not a religious movement. <laughs> yeah, and in a previous question, you answered uh, what you feel a religious movement is. And you talked about um, uh, religious movements being based on man, man's ideas of what God wants. So are you saying, how do you respond to that in the context of divine yeah, this, truth? This, the divine truth that we're teaching is not based on my ideas. In fact, it, um, it's highly unlikely in my wildest dreams that I would have ever come up with these ideas. <laughs> what what uh, is, has actually happened is God has shared with me through a process that 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 and God shared with me the process but God has shared with me through the process of how to discover divine truth from God and how to actually receive these truths into myself into my soul and as a result of that I'm just sharing these methods with other people that's all I am doing um, so I don't believe they are my truths I believe they are God's truths that I've had to come to terms with and sometimes with a lot of resistance, <laughs> I've had to come to terms with them. Mm -hmm. And as a result of coming to terms with these truths, um, I'm now sharing them with others. And, uh, and because I know them to be true. If I felt something was not true or I didn't know it to be true, then I, I clarify. This is what I feel, but I don't know if it's true. And unfortunately, a lot of people then think that I'm saying that that's true, but, but they haven't listened carefully to my words. I will state very clearly what I believe to be true, and I'll also state very clearly what I, is my own opinion, and I don't really know whether it's true or not. Um, and I feel what we're teaching, though, is divine truth, is the things that I'm very clear are true. And, and these particular things weren't given, weren't, are not mine. I didn't create them. God created them. They were in existence before I came into existence. And all, all I've managed to do is discover them, just like a scientist has managed to discover new scientific theories. And that's all I've managed to do is discover the divine truth and then had a willingness to share it with others.